Welcome to the Heart of Bass Drop Talk Show. I'm TJ Finn, and I have my special co-host with me today. Melissa Hayes. Melissa Hayes. Great. And so this is going to be an exciting show. We have Mark Anthony Baca with us with Extreme Force. Yes. And we also have singer-songwriter Winter Dawn here to share some news of what's going on with her and how to follow her. Love it. Let's take a look. So we're here today with my friend Mark Anthony Baca. And Mark, you have some exciting news and you're with, he's with Extreme Force. You are not only a stunt man, but you you have an entire company where you're teaching them, but you also have a television show that's going to be coming up soon, and we want to hear all of your news. <laughs> so, um, yes, the TV show is called Last Stuntman Standing, right. and it's an opportunity for the average Joe to break into the film industry to win a three-film contract and act and do stunts. That's wow. so cool. Isn't that oh. so cool? I mean, you're... you're, you're Business is located in Elgin, correct? Uh, McDade. 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 Yeah. McDade. Right out of here close to us, guys. That's exciting. And so when do you think you're going to start production with this new, and will it be filmed here? Yes, it'll be filmed partially uh, partially McDade. But we're looking to go into Bastrop area and probably maybe Austin for some uh, different episodes. But, uh, yeah, we want to give the audience and the contestants a, a real run for their money because they're competing to win. Uh, uh, actual contract, they're gonna get paid to be in these wow. films. So we wanna we wanna tug at people's heartstrings, kind of give a backstory of those contestants, and kind of see that they're, hey, you know what, it's something I've always dreamt of doing, but I don't know how to get into film industry, and I live in an area where there's not a lot of films. So this is an opportunity for people to to sign up, uh, give us their testimony and why they want to be a stunt person or actor, and so with our films, it'll be a three film contract. Uh, some of the producers that are involved with this are, you know, they have 30 films lined up for the next six months. Right. And we're part of the either casting, we're part of the stunts or acting. Right. That's so exciting. Um, so tell me how you got into the whole stuntman thing. <laughs> um, well, I went to high school in Austin, Texas at Travis High. I was 21 when I almost graduated high school. And right out of high school, I got a job on a TV, a movie called uh, Kickboxer 4. And it was a Van Damme spinoff, basically. He did the first one, and Sasa Mitchell was mm -hmm. second, third, and fourth, I think fifth, but I was in part four. Fun. And, and I you just fell in love with it. Yeah, kind of. I, I used to like to fight, so I used to, <laughs> I used to compete in <laughs> tournaments, boxing, kickboxing, and, and since I was in fourth grade. So nice. that was my real passion, but then I got into the film work by accident because... You know, people like Chuck Norris and Donald the Dragon Wilson were always going to tournaments and they were kind of like scouting for new talent. And of course, I, I didn't speak right at the time. And even now when I'm uh, doing some acting, I get I get coached a lot and corrected. But <laughs> but yeah, so even back back then it was worse. But so I just stuck with stunts because it seemed easier for me. Like it, like it. Yeah. And so, so how long have you had your business here in McDay, the Extreme Force? Uh, we moved from Dripping Springs about two years ago, but I moved my business from LA. It was in LA, uh, Lancaster area, actually. I moved that to Austin in 2020. Wow. So During the pandemic. Here a while. During the pandemic, mm -hmm. right? That was craziness. Uh, and of course, right now we have the actor strike going on, which we 100% support. Um, so you think next year you guys are going to get started on this new production? Um, yes, we have approval already. We can uh -huh. start right now if we like. But uh, we want the, the winter times, the Christmas, the holidays. Uh -huh. We want we kind of want to do it more of a spring, like maybe April. Nice. And we, so we're in pre-production right now. Um, we got a lot of the websites done. You know, we got um, some of the, the crews already mostly in place. So now what I do is get the contestants. Yeah, tell me how you decide who your contestants are going to be. Do you already you already kind of know who they're going to be? Okay. Is there or age is it limit? eighteen yeah. and over for okay. sure? Um, is there a height? Top? No, no uh, top of age? age. Oh no, cut I mean a cutoff age. Hey, okay. <laughs> she just called me <laughs> old. <laughs> you know, it's like I don't think we'll have a cutoff age. I think we're looking for athleticism, of course. Right. Um, well, that we'll, puts me out. So, <laughs> So it's like uh, we're looking for people who can, like the average person that cannot, doesn't have the opportunity to go down 20 miles and audition for movies or has an agent or even knows how to get an agent. Um, for, to do stunts, you don't have an agent. But people have a hard time getting to the stunt world because it's not 
easy to get into the stunt world. Right. You basically got to find your family. I mean, if you just go in and say, hey, I'm a stunt person, no one's going to hire you. I mean, right. not a legit film. They're going to bring their own people in because they trust them. Right. And it makes sense. So, oh, absolutely. It's dangerous. It is right? very dangerous. It's dangerous. It, it can be, and, yes. and not only do you do the stunts, but then if some an actor on set has a stunt they need to perform themselves, you actually go in and show them how to make that happen, right? Ex exactly. And then, well, the, the rule of thumb is for a stunt coordinator is to make sure, A, uh, all human life is protected, basically. We, we, we lead the same way we came. And then, B, equipment. So... Right. Yes, it's expensive equipment. People are first. So my job is to make sure the stunts are safe for people doing the stunts, but also people working the cast. So say we're doing a driving scene and I got to come in at a hard 90. Sometimes there's camera crew right there. Right. So we got to make sure the right person is driving that car that can do the hard 90s without messing up because right. you get one chance to, to make a bad choice or a bad mistake. And people's lives are at stake. So Absolutely. I think this whole situation with Alec Baldwin kind of taught us all the importance of, of safety on set for sure. That's one area that should never be cut corners. And I think a lot of times they are cut, especially on in independent films. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's a SAG film, SAG has a, a set of criteria. And on every SAG film that I've ever worked on, the insurance company always calls me. And they, they know what they're doing. So they'll vet me. Right. And if I can't answer the questions like this, then and I stumble on the questions and I got to think about it or you know try to Google something when I'm talking. I guarantee they're gonna know and right. you're not gonna get approved. So when I talk to insurance companies, I'm really quick with my answers. I'm I'm very confident and I earned their trust. They vet me and it was and also I got references. So I've done these right. films, these films, these films. They see what I've done and I have a clean history. So that helps me out a lot. That's wonderful. And so let's go back to. Who can apply and how do would they apply to do the show? Okay, so the website is up. It is uh, www.laststuntmanstanding.com. Perfect. And hopefully they'll put it at the screen. On the screen we for will. You. We definitely will. <laughs> so if you go to the screen, there should be a spot there that says apply or, or contact us. And there'll be rules. So um, on the website, we don't have, uh, have it set up yet for, the, for them to make contact to apply. Mm -hmm. There will be a spot that they can. So if they were to follow us for, and we have a Facebook page as well, mm -hmm. Last Up Man Standing. So if they follow us, we're going to announce in the next few months when how they can do it. Uh, of course, it'll be a video audition. So they're going to submit a video, X amount of time. We want to know why they want to become a stunt person or, or actor stunt person. And, you know, we're going to pick a top 20 and narrow it down to the top 10. I love that. You know, you can have your dream fulfilled, right? It's a big deal in this industry to learn from somebody who's already done it. You've done all the hard work. You're saying, come be part of the show. We're going to teach you how to take it to the next level. And that that's a really big deal for people starting out who just don't know where to start. Look, when I was an agent, people used to say, well, it's all about who you know. Mm -mm -mm. It's all about how to get to know the people you need to know, right? So so this is a way to do that for, for people starting out in the industry. Get to know these guys. See what they do. Learn from the best. It's well, exciting. Thank you. Yes, it's very exciting, especially to see people. I mean, people think stunts is just for the athletic person. Of course, in this TV show, we'll be athletic, right? But right. when people come to my, my school, I gotta, uh, we teach classes on a regular basis. So we do precision driving, pyrotechnics, we do fight choreography, weapons, you name it. Wow. And when I do classes, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you're, I got kids that come to my class that are like 12. I wow. got ladies and, and gentlemen that are like in their 70s, they come. Wow. So it's not about your physical ability because there's three steps to being a stunt person. One, you got the stunt coordinator, which is me with experience. I've been through it for almost 30 years now. And I know safety. I understand the technique. I understand what goes involved. So I'll coordinate and I'll oversee. Then you got the other two are people who come in, either a stunt performer or utility. Utility is going to be someone that's like, if you're performing, you're going to be utility because it takes a tribe. It doesn't, you don't just go on and say, hey, well, I'm doing a stunt today. So what you do is you got your people that come to make sure you're safe. So basically, if you're doing a kind of wire work or driving, I'm going to talk to you, saying, okay, we're clear over here at station two. Station three, we're watching the street over here. All right, when the person says you're ready to go, that person will cue you to go. And then if anybody else sees, sees anything that's not uh, that's dangerous or a question, boom, we, we cut, we stop. 
stop filming, stop, stop the roll. Right. But we also have safety. So the utility could be on fire extinguishers, could be on a, a fire blanket, uh, could we have whatever. There's so many different aspects of stunts. You don't have to be just a stunt performer to be part of a team. So, right. so people do join and they learn the different aspects of stunts and they can find their niche until they can do what the they want to do. Is, though, but the thing is, though, what it doesn't matter is, what your physical drive. ability is to drive. You reflexes, if you have good reflexes and you, and you pay attention, and you, and you, you, you practice and study and learn, you can be a precision driver. You can drive for fast and furious. You get out of the car and be like, and you get out of the car and be like, that car. She was driving that car. You know what? It'll freak people out. You know what? It'll freak people out because the car doesn't care. It's, it's not about the car. It's about the person. There is some stunts. There is some stunts you've got to be physically fit for. There is some stunts. But there is some stunts. That's all you got to do is have a good perception. You know, depth perception. You got to have reflexes. Understand the technique and proper details for that stunt. And you can be a stunt performer. Well, I think my husband thinks I'm a stunt performer when I drive into Austin some days. I'll tell you what. I I'll tell you what, car. when I get into my girlfriend's car, I grab the, the handle. The OS handle, y'all. Yeah, yeah, OS yeah, handle, y'all. Yeah, 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 my husband knows where that is. I almost broke it a few times, so trust me, I, I get it. I just gotta act tough, though. So she looks I just gotta act tough, though, whenever she looks at me. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, not only do you own this stunt company, but you're also. Yes, we make films. Yes, we make films. I'm getting more into acting myself. I'm getting more into acting myself. We make films. I got a team. We make films. I got a team. We've had three films. We've had three films. Yeah, we produced just this year alone. and That's just wow. this year alone. Two of them are wow. already, two of them already going to distribution. Uh, They're distribution. hitting the, the streaming services right now. That's amazing! So, wow, I love it. Can, can you tell us what they are? Or is yes, no, 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 I can tell you. Um, one of them is called Nowhere Land. Okay. It's it's a horror film. Um, I get Ooh. I get tore up like you wouldn't believe in that film, <laughs> and you know I got to push my acting skills a lot more, which is a lot different than stunts. Mm -hmm. Stunts is easy for me. Mm -hmm. Acting is a lot more different because it's a lot mental. And right. it's, 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 you got to tap into your, your core right. and your emotional, kind of got to bring it out so the camera can, you can be believable. Right. So it's a totally different genre, but it's fun and I'm getting better at it. And then the second one is called Malice. It's also a horror film, kind of like uh, Possession to where it's, it's jumped from body to body <laughs> and, and we're killing off each other. It's, it's, it's a good movie. A lot of stunts, a lot of stunts in this that we did. And the recent one we just finished last month is called People in the Walls. And it's done right now. It's finished. It's going to also going to distribution. Is that on a horror film too? It's also a horror film. I mean, and, and the people like in the walls. <laughs> I was thinking, okay, there's only one place this is going. Well, the, that's cool. The thing with the film is like uh, sci-fi and horror are the biggest genres. I mean, oh, all over yeah. the world. I oh, mean, no doubt. Cold you can make, films. yeah, you yeah. can make a Western film, but it only appeals to people really in the U.S. Right. Some people overseas are like, oh, that's cool. And they're, they're interested, but. Horror and sci-fi are uh, distribution uh, distribution companies love those because they can sell them anywhere. Right. So right. we're trying to build up the company with the MGI Films, my partners, build it up to where we can have like 10, 15 films by the end of next year. And we got That's three awesome. three films we're about to do. One's called Toy Maker with Evan Allen. We're gonna try and shoot that either in Bastrop or Elgin. Nice. And if I do it in Bastrop, I'm gonna need your help because I don't have kind. Of, Trying to look for some nostalgic oh, places. I got you. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> and the next one is it's a World War II movie. We're gonna do it at my ranch. It's a, a oh. yeah World War II movie with Germans and tanks. It's gonna be fun. And the third one is a film from out of Alabama. We're gonna actually try and shoot it here in, in Texas. Um, it's kind of like at the castles and. Fun. Yeah, it's gonna Texas be. Texas got all the great <laughs> terrain, right? You can no matter where you well you can. Do, Shoot it like you were on Mars and use Texas, right? Yeah. You can always find a great place to shoot. Well, if they want to find information about Side those movies, go what um, site do my they website go is called um, go My go website is called goexfo.com. G-O-E-X-F-O. So it's basically go expo. So it's basically go extreme force dot expo. Yeah. So dot com. Right now the pages up. The right now the landing page pages up. But we're revising it for the actual website. So if they go there, they can eventually find us. They can contact us too. And of course on social media, right? Social media, extreme force Hollywood stunts and film. On Perfect. social media, yeah, they can contact and us. Yeah, they can contact in us if they're interested in learning. Almost every other we have month classes almost every other month for different types of stunts. And, 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 so, and, and so, just the classes. So I heard you say so you had a twelve-year-old. I heard you say you had a twelve-year-old. So what age range classes. do they start? What age range do they start at? How, can you tell us okay, a little so bit how kids that works? Okay, so kids technically aren't allowed to do a lot of stunts. They can do some stuff. They can do some stuff. You know, but you know, when it comes to like wire work, they can do. But when you're a child actor, but when you're a child actor. 
doctor. Of those around here. And we have a lot of those around here. They should learn. You should learn. Yeah. It's gonna. It's, it's, it's gonna. It's gonna. This now, if, you, if you start learning like this stuff now, she's like say wire work, like she's got to fly and, and all superhero cool landing and all the cool stuff. Be in the wires and learn how to your body aspect, control your body aspect for wires. Get that and get that experience. So when you go on a set, if you're filming and you do get a superhero role or a movie where you have to fly, like I've done some movies for like Disney where you have to make people fly, kids, kids fly. When and they're used to the wires, when helps. they're used to the right. wires, it, it helps. Right. It makes it easier. I don't, easier. Have, to them as much. I don't have to show them as much. They understand, they understand, how, to much. They understand how to use their and core. They don't get so frustrated. Because being, being, so being in the wires, after a while, it gets really frustrating. And look, if you're, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're if you're a casting director, which I've been, director, which I've been many, you, many and times, and you look at this and you see this on their resume, you're like, this is going to be a lot easier. We look at those resumes. I promise you. We look at this child say, well, this child's already got experience in this, and this is something they can put on the resume. For any actor, yes, I recommend that for any actor, background, but also background. Say background, say you're a background. It's like, well, I kind of want to step forward and get out of just doing background work. I want to kind of get my foot in the door. We open the door for anybody. You know what? We open the door for anybody. You know, it's a, you know, we're like a family. You know, people come and then they get into my inner circle and, you know, we're doing it well. Wonderful. Well, I'm so glad Wonderful. Well, I'm so glad you came today and, and saw us today. And, and, and I am looking forward to all this, and exciting, and exciting, stuff forward to all this exciting stuff that you so have much. coming up. Thank, Thank you, you so it. much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Genesis Laser Aesthetics here in Bastrop, Texas, we offer the most advanced technology in facial rejuvenation and body contouring. With pelvic floor strengthening, Mcella is an FDA approved treatment for urinary incontinence. Msculpt Neo can reduce fat by 30% and increase muscle mass by 25%. How about a facelift without needles, surgery, or downtime? Don't drive to Austin. Our friendly staff will be glad to set up a free consultation. 512-581-5016. So we're here with my beautiful, beautiful granddaughter, Winter Dawn, who is an incredible musician, singer, songwriter, and many of you have probably seen her at some major events around town or some of our local hotspots. Winter, I want, I want to say that I think you're an incredible singer, and I have watched you grow in your craft over the last few years, and it, it is astonishing. You just sound like a little angel, and I'm not just saying that because because I'm your nanny, okay? Um, I know that that you tell so tell everybody a little bit of the places that you've played around town, so they know. Oh goodness, I played everywhere in Bastrop. You name it, I've played at 602. Um, I've played at the Bastrop Roadhouse. I've played at the Hampton Inn. Um, I played in Page Page Roadhouse. I played in. Giddings at Little Farmers Markets, um, Fat Cat Lounge, and Fat Cat Lounge in Smithville. Yeah. Yes, it's incredible. And, yeah, yeah, lots of good places. And I'm going to show you, so, let you guys listen to some of her beautiful music. But I wanted to say, um, you know, last summer. You opened up for Allie Colleen, who is Garth Brooks's daughter, uh, Brody Caster, the mm -hmm. White Ellis Band, Aaron Lacombe. That was an incredible concert. Yes, it was. And you were just amazing. Mm -hmm. How does it feel different whenever you open for another act versus when you're just in a smaller gig where you're going in? I mean, do you feel differently in that aspect? It's a lot more fun. Um, and honestly, I was honored to open up for Allie Colleen and that was that was a very memorable moment in my music career um but it's just it's a lot more fun when i'm opening up for people um and then it's funny when i open up for musicians and then the next gig say they open up for me that's that's also fun well, that's exciting <laughs> you know working with other people i know you and gary blake yes. work together a lot and for those of you who don't remember gary i think everybody knows gary but gary owns blake's music shop 
And I know you guys practice together a lot, mm -hmm. and he is also an incredible musician. Uh, why he's not out on the road, I don't know. I think his <laughs> wife just like, mm -mm -mm, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> but I love to see you guys perform together. You opened up this summer. Who did you open up for this summer at this the concert summer. series? Uh, Tony Ramey and Brody, yes. Cast, Brody yes, Caster, yeah, right? Tony yeah, Tony Ramey and Brody Caster. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. And hopefully, who knows who it's going to be next year, right? It, But it was, that was a lot of fun. And so the music industry here in Bastrop County is just growing and growing. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So many more opportunities mm -hmm. for, for local musicians. So what is your plans with the music? Where do you where do you see yourself five years from now? Five years from now, um, well, I hope to have not only an EP out but a whole record, um, and I hope for my social media to get a little bit bigger. Um, and I want to start doing gigs in Austin, other big surrounding areas because I've only gone to the small towns around locally. Um, so just moving up, moving up. Going oh, there, man. you go. Mm -hmm. um, I figured you were going to say Nashville, and Nanny was going to pound. <laughs> <laughs> but but I I love it that we have such incredible local talent, guys, and we need to be supporting them. We need to be you know backing up our local talent. So tell everyone how they can get your music. Where can they go to to and how can they follow you? Yes. It's gonna be if you guys wanted to stay in the loop on where I'm playing at when my EP is coming out, uh, Winter Dawn Music on Instagram, Facebook, and then Winter Dawn Tunes on TikTok. Love it. Love it. Well thank you so much Winter. You know I adore you. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> Well, Mel, that was a great show. I know you said before that you didn't want to co-host, but how fun is it to meet some of these incredible people? It, Mark, it is, definitely. Yeah. Mark Anthony, they've got some exciting stuff coming up. Uh, and I tell you, Last Stunt Man Standing. I've been following this project for a while, and it is going to be excited, uh, exciting. A little bit of celebrity mixed in with with some regular people like me and you who just want an opportunity to see what's going on yeah i'm i'm excited i i'm thinking about getting my husband into the the stunt industry so, oh fun yeah, yeah, yeah he'd probably love great. that i tell you what it is a lot of fun it and, it, and look it's not dangerous if you got somebody like mark anthony mm -hmm. to to you know guide you through it mm -hmm. and how about my little winter oh i know it's so great having winter dawn on here and just hearing about uh all the exciting things that are going on with her Absolutely. And I have to mention that you did her makeup and she looked Dude. absolutely beautiful. Yes. Thank you did. so much. And I tell you guys, you don't want to miss an episode of the Heart of Bastrop Talk Show. So you go to theheartofbastrop.com or you can follow us on our new YouTube channel. Until next week.